When you mash together Thomas and Friends Track Master 2 trains with Caterpillar, job site diggers and trucks with the amazing kinetic sand. Well, one thing you don't get is a short video, but you will see how three very different toys, which are all around the same base price, come together in some seriously crazy fun. All these toys are very impressive in different ways, but which one really presents the best bang for buck? Or is trying to make a comparison between these totally unfair? Anyway, as the audience, I'm sure you'll let me know. Let's do it. Well, hi there, everyone. We're going to do a bit of a different video today. We're going to take a look at Kinetic Sand, aren't we? Yeah. Yay. Yay. My son and my daughter both love this product, but Daddy doesn't love the price. We'll talk about that later on. And also, I'm going to add these amazing-looking machines into the video, and hopefully they will be pushing around the Kinetic Sand. And I'll tell you what, these are fantastic. They were bought from Costco, and they were really cheap. Well, I have had the Kinetic Sand at home here for a couple of weeks. For a while, it was very hard to get. It's a very popular product coming up to Christmas 2014. I was also able to pick up one of the play sets. They're pretty hard to find. They're very popular, even though it's $29, but I'll be talking about price later in the video. And what I've done is I've set up a great big train track here. It's a classic Trackmaster track. I've got out the rest of the Trackmaster 2 trains because we're going to have a bit of a sand loading station on this railway. But first up, I better come along and unbox all of these amazing trucks so we can get our kinetic sand play area into action. Although it looks like the play has already begun over there. What have you got there? Is it a giant surprise something, is it? What's in there? Can you show me? Oh, oh, it's a little um, Mega Bloks thing, isn't it? Oh, look, it's made the shape. I'm only looking at kinetic sand because I've seen how much my children love playing with it. Looks like another surprise, something being made there. Well, this machine here, it's held in by those secret screws underneath here. And the reason why this is done is to stop these toys from disappearing in store out of box. Well, here's the first one unboxed. And my goodness, this is some serious toy mojo. Even Daddy's getting excited. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, it's great. My son's going to hit the button there. Then it'll drive forward. It's got some fantastic tracks on it. It looks so real. Look at it go! It stops for nothing! Also came with those figures there. <laughs> and the uh, other things that just got cleaned up. You're not going crazy on me already. <laughs> Looks like it. It's got a little detailed cabin in there where the man can come in and operate. Will the man fit inside there? He's already talking to me. <laughs> He's driving already. Oh, he's sort of in there. Oh, he goes. Oh, no, not the workman! Oh, I better save him. Are you okay? Give him a bit of a restart of the heart. I think he's okay. Send him up. Uh, I better stop playing with the toys and unbox the rest of these amazing toys. You got the man in that dump truck there? Oh, yeah. I've just unboxed this one here. Oh, it's fantastic. It's got lights, sounds, moves along. Oh, how can you go wrong? You can't. Look at it go. And what is interesting about these toys is that it is from this place there, toystate.com. Do you remember the other toys that they've done? I'm pretty sure that series of Hot Wheels vehicles there is done by Toystate.com. This is a very popular one, this one. Whenever I sit out in the stores, it's not in there for very long. But also, those comeback races uh, were also done by Toystate.com. Well, it looks like the kinetic sand is getting a workout already. Well, it looks like the kinetic sand is being loaded in the dump truck there. Sort of weird kinetic sand because it will keep its shape. Oh, I love toys with buttons and levers. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I say bring it on, bring it on hard, and bring it on fast. Okay, I've um, got some law and order Daddy, going here. Back up here, look. Uh, what are we looking at? I made it. Oh, what did you make? Oh, you made a mould yeah. of the cone that came with those uh, trucks. It looks like the same. Yeah. So my endeavour is to try and look at the Kinetic Sand play sets. Of course, look at those fantastic tractors at work. And also have a bit of a Thomas and Friends Trackmaster 2 rummage, I think. Look at the bulldozer a spin over the Kinetic Sand. There it goes. Look at it go. And over the track as well. Now look at the mode. Yeah, look at the cool track marks it's made in the kinetic it's sand. It's a mode. Let me send it back to you. I think that's the right button there. I love the tracks on this thing. Off it goes. And my son's remoulding uh, that thing you made before because this stuff doesn't keep its shape. It sort of gets lazy and falls over and that's the sort of kooky part about it. Here we go. There we are. And if you watch it, it slowly falls apart, a bit like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> and that is the fun of kinetic sand. Looks like I'm making a green one here. It's going to be one giant mess, I can tell you, this one. But I think the best one of all is you press the button on this and watch what happens. Da -da 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 what? Come on. Don't go back. Look at that. There's a green one. Well, we're going to take a look at this playset here. Kinetic Sand playset. Looks like it's got some mouldy shapes in there and everything. My son got very excited when he saw this in the shop. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like... Oh be, my god, this is so heavy. There'd be sand in that one. Yep, 
And it's got a tray there. That's what it says on the tray there. Anything else in that box there? No. Oh, okay. Must be moulds in oh, that, is it? Dad. Oh, no. What What's inside this? Let's just check inside there. Okay, we've got some little moulds and we've got hopefully some sand. Yeah. So for $29 in Kmart Australia, there is that tray there which says kinetic sand. I'm glad it says that. We've got some kinetic sand in that pack. We've got some moulds. How many moulds did it come with? This pack of here. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four. Hmm. But from what I've worked out already, uh, my son is using these here from those other play sets as fun moulds. Oh, get that sand going. Hey, do some of those moulds that came with that play set. I'd love to see it. Fill it up. Yep, filling it up. Do you put it here like that? <laughs> Special hand movement, is it? Okay, what do you do next? And, well, there it is. One very expensive uh, fall apart sandcastle. Dad, the stuff magic. And Dad, look at the, um, the castle. The castle not um, falling apart, look. Oh, I don't know. It look, doesn't look as healthy as it was before. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Can you do a mould of the turtle, please? I want to see my value for money in this one. Okay, let's see it. Oh, one turtle. Here comes the seahorse. Okay, let's see it. Sometimes silence is golden. And we're loading up the fish next. And the fish is down, the fish is down here. Come on, kinetic sand fish, and it's gone. And it looks like we let up the castle again. Do a castle, one more castle. And we'll push all this aside because I want to get into some much better stuff than this. Okay, oh, it rolls. Well, there you go. It rolled out of the mold and it somehow survived. Okay. Oh, watch out. Here come the work crew. Here come the <laughs> straight over the mold. And the work crew have arrived. I bet you this work crew stopped for no one. Oh, hit that. Oh, right in the sand pit. Well, I'll take that kinetic sand playset. Well, I'll come along and unbox the rest of the sand. What's curious about the playset, on the back here it said, made in Mexico, um, assembled in Belgium. As far as I know, those two countries are a fair distance apart. But what's interesting is once I look at the bags of sand, maybe I'm starting to understand why this stuff's so expensive. And when I read here, made in Sweden, mmm, maybe this is explaining its extreme price. Well. Gotta get it out the play with it, don't we? We can't look at it inside the box forever. Uh, dump the blue there. I think the chance of keeping these colours separated is impossible now. I want it to be like Play-Doh, we end up with this cookie purple colour at the end when they're all mixed up. Well, it's probably more fun than the beach. <laughs> it want to be at the price. Well, the mixture of sand colour experiment is undergoing here. Will we get cookie purple out of all of this? And the diggers are coming in for a bit of play. Watch out to come the bulldozers, oh yeah. Yeah, it looks like this digger's been given a workout. See how strong it is. Toys here tend to get a fair bit of rough play. Yeah, it looks like we're seeing if the does it goes down the tracks. Looks like it does. Why do I always feel disaster looming when I've got these toys out? Oh no! <laughs> That's another wreck. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh! My goodness me. Uh, weren't we going to do some loading of sand into the trains? Wasn't that the purpose of this video? Come on, this is meant to be a sand mining operation, not a disaster site. Well, it looks like we've got some law and order going on here again. Gordon is being loaded up with some pink kinetic sand. Hero is being loaded up with what looks like purple kinetic sand there. And there's actually one very interesting aspect to this hero. I'm not sure if you can see it, but he's actually got a green tinge to all over him. I'm not sure whether that's the way he's meant to be. It's like um, when they use the plastic on this one, it's got green in it. His tender is black. Hope you can see that. That's black, but that is green. And there's no camera tricks going on there. That's got green tinge all the way through it. You can especially see it on that front area there, whatever it's called. So who else out there has got a green tinged hero? And looking here, it looks like Edward has been given a multicolored load of kinetic sand. And Spencer's been loaded up with some blue, and looks like they're on their way. Off they go. And because these are the Trackmaster 2 trains, they've got a fair bit more gusto than the classic Trackmaster. Hey, you got to get Hero going. Get Hero going. It'll be an accident. Oh, they're all away. Looking very good. Oh, it could be some biff up the back here. Gordon's catching up to Hero. Oh, giving a bit of a shove in the back, a bit of a nudge. Oh, Gordon has taken a tumble. Oh no, Spencer's coming up the rear. Boof. But we've got some trains back in order here. 
Oh. Edward coming up the back here. Daddy, no. Edward's doing fine. Uh. Through the sand loading area, but he's caught there. What's going on there with Edward? Just caught in the points of Z. Here he comes Hero. Looking mighty fine. Daddy, look. Oh, but for some reason, um, Gordon is tenderless. Oh, it's on the side of the rails there. He's lost his tender, but he's flying. Look how fast he goes about his tender. It's amazing. In fact, he's going to catch up to Hero. It's going to be a nudge here any second now. Oh, disaster looming. I can feel it coming. Nudge, nudge. I can't take the camera off. This is killing me. Oh, nudge. They're kissing at the back. Come on, Gordon. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Get out of the way, saying. Get out of the way, hero, you old coach. Oh, the excitement is killing me on that. Oh! That's really different, you know, the Trackmaster 2 trains run with a very different sound versus Trackmaster Classic or Trackmaster 1. I sort of miss that sound, actually. Although some people won't. Look at them go. Oh, I'm loading up another one here. It's one that didn't become part of the Halloween special. That's a very simple one to do. It's basically the packaging from one of these play sets. And I've come along and just painted it white. It's actually James underneath the packaging there. And it's based on what my son used to do when he played with his trains. Drew a scary face on there and it's all too easy. We'll load it up with sand and away we go. Oh, bit of a biffo with Spencer there. Go, go. Oh, it's getting very busy. It's very busy, isn't it? Oh, that looks fantastic, that um, Ghost James. Very simple to do that ghost conversion. Anyone can do that one. Oh, a bit of nudging going on the back there. Heroes nudging up the back of Edward. It's one of these things, you take the camera away from this and anything can happen. Oh, Edward's catching up to Ghost James. Heroes nudging up the back there as well. Oh, looking fine and dandy, looking fine and dandy indeed. Go, Ghost James! And Glow in the Dark Divis Diesel is about to join the party. Go, Glow in the Dark Divis Diesel. That is uh, one of my son's favourites, and I'm pretty sure it's one of the uh, viewers' favourite as well. Very simple conversion to do that one. A bit of Glow in the Dark paint, and it um, elevates that model to a absolutely incredible model. Just watching here up the back there. Edward still. Ghost James. Oh yeah, it's all the fun of the fair here. And you're probably saying, well, Leo, why haven't you got Trackmaster 2 track out? Well, I don't have this amount of Trackmaster 2 track. I've got uh, you know, a fair bit of it, but I haven't got this amount. Henry's on there. There goes Henry. Hopefully, these are some of the Trackmaster 2 ones that you haven't seen yet on my channel, but they're actually all pretty good, fast, robust engines, I can tell you. I'm actually surprised how well behaved uh, these guys are. They're all going about the same speed, which is sort of interesting. Oh, no! <laughs> it's a stack up. Just as I thought it was all going all too easy. It looks like uh, Gordon is down, uh, going to Dark Diesel is down, and Henry's come up the rear. And Spencer is speeding in. Oh, no, the track has been cleared by the fat controller. Thank goodness for that. It would have been another messy crash. You're going to sort those trains out, putting the kinetic sand load back in. It's very curious kinetic sand because it keeps its shape, even once it's fallen out of those trucks. Keep my eye on Hero there. He's playing up a lot, I tell you. Oh, no, there's a massive stack up here. Oh, a massive stack up. Oh, I've never seen so much carnage in all my life. Uh, it's going to take a fair bit of management to clean that one up. Oh, but they are getting cleaned up one by one. They're getting back on the rails. There's Ghost Thomas over there with Henry coming up the back. And now coming up to that crash area, which has quickly been cleared. I'll tell you what, the action here is fast and furious. And that ghost on the front of Thomas there is just a Pez toy. It's done for my Halloween special of 2014. I don't know what happened here, but... Um, we got the <laughs> I don't know how we got over there. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, they have trouble on the flexi track, the Trackmaster 2 trains. Uh, so there's going to be a bit of argy bargy going in the back there. They'll Daddy. probably shuffle each other along. Now, it looks like Spider James is coming out of retirement there. Oh no, a bit of accidents can happen all over this one, I'll tell you. Very busy little railway. And up the back there, what's that? Um, Henry giving Thomas the nudge. Oh, my goodness. This is killing me, this one. Oh, up the back there, going to be a bit of a nudge on that flexi track. The tra oh, bang, bang, bang. Very messy indeed. But my son's coming over to um, repair what's going on there. It's good time management stuff, this. You learn about how to fix things up in a matter of uh, time. There's more and more trains stack up and stack into it. Thomas coming into the stack now. In fact, I think all the trains are over there stacked up. And one by one, they are released from the accident zone. 
There's Spider James on his way. Oh, Spider James is caught up there a bit. Oh, boof. Another one. But there's another accident over here. Oh, bang, bang, bang. Is that Henry at the front there? Okay, <laughs> Spencer's now off. Spider James. Ghost James. Oh, this never... <laughs> It just never stops. It's probably one of the most incredible accidents I've seen on my channel. So you don't see this every day. How about this for a pile up? This is one of the all time greatest Thomas the Tank pile ups you've seen. One of the strangest of the spiders and everything going on here. What a mess. Who are we going to blame for this? Going to blame that diesel? Going to dark diesel? I think he's in the middle of that. I think he's to blame. He's a troublemaker, that one. <laughs> okay, get the trains back on the track. And um, a bit of separation maybe might help. Yeah, what is cool about kinetic sand is when you take it out, there's a shape. It sort of keeps its shape, but it's not that solid. And that's the sort of aspect I oh, think children like really like about it. The fact that it does these shapes, these sort of memory shapes, but over time, it'll start losing that form. And there's another one. My son has just plonked there. With this machine here, we haven't featured yet. Um, I used to call these front-end loaders. Uh, you don't see them around that much these days. They've sort of been taken over by smaller machines, more or more clever machines. This one here, you can operate the front. <laughs> if the train's been in the way. Um, yeah, I love the levers on this. Um, the back one, I think it's just by hand. You can do your digging by hand here. And it's got the feet here as well. You can put down and make it more stable. But these are fantastic toys. The right price and the right sort of toy mojo that I'm always going to talk about. How's it going there? What are you making now? Getting into the sand again? It's good to see. What the is going on here? You're going to run over it, are you? Oh, I see. You're just chewing into it, are you, with the treads, as children do. And what I really like about this toy here is it's got real treads, real rubber treads. There's too many toys these days you see that have, like, fake solid treads, and they've got, like, little wheels in here. And, I mean, that's just not the go-to me. Sure, these do come off. But that's all the fun and learning about tread, treaded vehicles because if you start playing with real treaded vehicles, you'll start to understand that the treads do also do come off, and then it takes a bit of nous to get them back on. But this toy... In my books, it's fantastic. I mean, I can't stop playing with it myself, and that basically gives it a thumbs up as far as I'm concerned. And looking at this bulldozer here, it's got all the right mojo again, and it's also got one of those rippers on the back here. They go along and rip the guts out of anything in its way. And the Ghost James thing, I probably should explain it again and show you exactly, because people say, well, you didn't explain it properly, Leo. It is just the packaging. In my other videos, you've probably seen my son, he gets the packaging, he plays like a ghost with it, with the packaging running around the track. Well, what I've done is I've basically cut that packaging Cut it to suit the train here. Of course, it's a perfect fit because it basically in box it covers the toy. Drew a face on the front. I was able to cut out a section as well because it's one piece. You can see where it was joined as one piece, and I can cover the tender as well. And that there is the most simplest of ghost trains you could ever make. Well, I should come down to the workshop very quickly and explain exactly the plastic that I used to make this very, very simple ghost train, which is definitely the favorite of my son. And the fact that you can take it off and put it on other trains, don't use the plastic for that sort of packaging. It's sort of useless because it's only one-sided. You use the plastic which you find in the play sets and the fact that this is the plastic that wraps right around. And my son used to basically play with that more than the train sometimes, as sad as it sounds, you basically cut like a ghost skirt. Uh, if it's a tender engine, you'll find there'll be plastic over the tender there. There's Thomas there in one of the larger play sets. He's got his plastic on him as well. Um, I mean, it's just so simple to do. And as I've found so, so often, the most simple things are often the best. I did cut a hole here to turn the train on and off, but I do notice that my son basically takes the cover off, turns it on, whacks it on there. You can don't need to do that cut out there. Uh, but I hope that I've fully explained how to do this very simple and awesome ghost train. And of course, if you wanted to, you could come and spray this glow-in-the-dark paint. It's deadly expensive, this stuff. Um, it's funny, people show this, but they never talk about the price. In Australia, this stuff is like gold. Um, but it is actually a very awesome effect that I did on diesel in my Halloween video. Anyway... I think I've said enough on that, and it's fully explained, I hope. Sorry for the interruption, now it's back to your regular viewing. Over the back there, my boy's doing some digging into the kinetic sand, which is probably a little bit tough for these machines, because they're probably more designed for normal loose sand, although it is digging up a bit. It's all fun, isn't it? Well, there are the tractor marks, and that's what we've just run over. Little signs that came with those toys. Actually, I haven't spoken about this truck yet. Um, it's a nice truck. Let me just see what it does. I think it'll tip by pushing this button here, yep. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I can pull it back down and it'll go forward and reverse as well. And there are other buttons to do sounds and truck sounds. And it looks like we're being loaded up with kinetic sand there. I thought the digger was going to load it up. Just doing it by hand by the looks of it. And we're loading up some via the digger as well. The kinetic sand's a bit heavy for it to do it naturally by itself. I'll tell you what, um... Those toys there are very impressive. 
um, Costco where I bought those, but I'll be talking about the prices a little bit later in this video. Well, it's still letting up. It's great these toys, you know, my son always connects to these sorts of toys and I'm going to connect to them as well because I think that those toys there were really great value. Look at it go. It's a runaway. Here it goes. What have you done there? Oh, the man in there has got kinetic sand all over him. Hard to know which one's my favourite. I'm sort of going for this one a fair bit. There it goes, pushing the sand. Been attacked by kinetic sand as well. Well, it looks like the Transformers have arrived. That's bulldozer, isn't it? Doing what bulldozers do. Oh, now he's walking and he's becoming a bulldozer again. He's amazing. You know what? I hate to um, add up all the value of the toys down on the ground there. But then again, how much fun uh, can you put to that sort of value? That's the question. And my son's sending up the men. Be some sort of weird, like, 10th uh, in bowling with these toy men. Oh. And down they go. <laughs> and this is the workman that came with those cat trucks. Is that like a real man? Do real men have muscles like that in their arms? I don't. I never had muscles like that. But have we worked out what happens when you mix up all of these colours of kinetic sand? You get like the kooky purple that you get with Play-Doh. It's sort of weird, isn't it? It takes a fair bit of mixing to get it going, but I think we are getting to that strange colour. That strange, you know, colour that only happens when you mix up various colours of Play-Doh. It's getting there. Maybe someone else has done this experiment can report back to me. It's going to be that real messy colour, won't it, at the end? Mm. Gonna run over the men, are we? Mm. And there it goes. It's a fair bit of weight in there. I'll just run, run over Henry by the looks of it as well. But uh, can it assemble it lift and get rid of that sand? If I hit this? No! No, no. It's too much weight in there, I think. Oh, I'm very curious about this uh, Trash Toss and Rowdy. This is a toy that I looked at, but the review, well, let's say, got delayed. Hmm, I won't say any more on it than that. Um, I'm a bit curious whether it works better with this kinetic sand than it does with Play-Doh. Let's give it a try, eh? I wonder if other people have done this. No. I'm very curious to see what happens here. Okay, yeah. Some toys that I look at um, end up, the review never gets finished. Probably best to just say it like that, and let's give this thing a run. See if we can get it to do its thing. Oh yeah! In fact, it works better with kinetic sand than what it does with Play-Doh, I feel. At least I can move it. Look at it go. Well, that's what it's spitting out. Uh, it's easier to use it with the kinetic sand than Play-Doh. I can assure you of that. Okay, I've got it loaded up once again. Sorry for the background noise. Someone's got a leaf sweeper out or something. Every time I do a video, people get whip slippers out. Here we go. Off it goes. Spitting out of the rubbish. Look at it go. <laughs> Trail of destruction. You give the workman a bit of a spin. Here they go. Oh yeah. Well, we've seen some awesome train wreck action in this video. We've also seen some old Trackmaster classic track come out. We've seen some amazingly good bulldozers from Costco. We've seen some kinetic sand and how it plays out in different ways. And we've also seen how you can mash together a whole bunch of different toys to have a whole ton of fun. But I'm pretty sure we've come to that time of the video where we say thanks for watching and... Bye for now. Bye for now. Uh. <laughs> Uh, and we lick uh, the lens as well. Uh, uh. Come on, Dad, let's do it. <laughs> Some classic Trackmaster track. I've gone and got all the clack. Uh, yeah. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so we can get our sand operations uh, into blah blah. <laughs> See if the man sits in there. Oh, we <laughs> Share. Sure <it> will. <laughs> I'm being a boy again. I tell you, with this toy, will a man fit in there? Get in there. You stubborn man. Will that man get in there? Yeah. Oh, he's almost in. <laughs> get in, get in. <laughs> <laughs> Drew a scary face on there. Oh, and Gordon's um, had a bit of a biffo with me. That they put down to the road, or, and they rip, 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 rip. Oh, I'm running over some people there, sorry. And these are the men that came with the cat trucks and um, is that a fair in take to have been taken over by sand oh, boy oh boy oh boy well it's a bit later in the day my boys had a bit of a bath it's been a very hot day We're getting near summertime the kinetic sand has been tidied up by daddy it was quite a daddy tidy that one hey what you up to here oh look at that you can swap the ghost bodies across to different characters yeah we so we don't it's not just a ghost james it can be a ghost gordon as well 
Yeah. You know what? That could actually probably be the ultimate ghost train conversion and the easiest you can do. Giving Ghost Gordon the run now. Nice bit of ghost train eye candy. Oh, he's got it stopped on the stop there. That's interesting. I didn't know it worked on that stop. That's a Trackmaster stop there. Let's just see if it does work again. Let me reset that. Well, that's a bit creepy. It's just a ghost tender. I've got the stop set for stop. Ah, it just runs over it. Thank you, Trackmaster 2. But if my son lifts the engine up and puts it on the stop, it'll sit there stop. So that's really weird. Well, Ghost James is out the back there, but his tender's not ghost because Gordon's got the ghost tender. And we're just working out that the packaging, well, if I didn't do the ghost face on the front, it sort of does fit. Oh, sort of. That is a modified one that's gated with a ghost face on it. Yeah, if I didn't have the skull there, I reckon it would fit over. But we are going to try, oh, a ghost diesel. What are we doing here? <laughs> It's amazing how children play and in fact the funny thing is with doing that ghost conversion it's purely the idea of watching my son play with the packaging uh, <laughs> to do a ghost yeah we've got a floating ghost tender there behind diesel uh, which would normally not have a tender well it looks like we're getting a ghost Percy going on there and so often people ask me well Leo where do you get the ideas for videos well you're looking at the person right there my children give me at least 90% of uh, the ideas for all the silly stuff you see up on YouTube. And while I'm over here looking at Play-Doh, I'm going to come in and hopefully answer one of the strange queries that I see people ask on YouTube a lot. Does black Play-Doh exist? Well, I've found it in a gravel form. I found it in those playsets which involve this truck, you know, the Roadworks playsets. Um, yes, you can find black, but I've also found copious amounts of black in the knockoff generic type of Play-Doh. I almost wasn't going to look at Kinetic Sand on my channel and I was struggling to deal with the price of it versus some other toys that I saw for sort of the same price. It's Thomas and Friends Trackmaster 2 Thomas in Australia. You can pick that up for $18, $19 maybe if you're buying it at the wrong time of year. This fantastic Hot Wheels Shark toy which is great. There's a whole series of these out. Great toy. A lot of people have seen this in the background of my videos and asked about it. It's a $20 toy in Kmart Australia. Possibly far less overseas. Let's not go there right now. Uh, this excavator truck was bought at Costco and it was actually $19.99, you can call that $20. But because it's Costco, it's interesting, you get a much better deal. And I think I'm gonna to have to do a dedicated video uh, to talk about Costco in Australia. And whereas this kinetic sand here, in Kmart, Australia is $19 for just that little bit of sand. Maybe it's a very cruel comparison. I mean, you put batteries in this toy here, and it run around, it's a very robust toy, that one. I know that toy very well. This great big excavator truck here. You can press the button, it makes lights and sounds. It's got some great rubber tracks on this one as well. The same with the shark here, if you press the right button, it'll do some munching and crunching. It's fantastic eye candy, that one here. Whereas, we've got some, you know, moldable sand. Um, really, maybe, how can you compare that to this other toy goodness around it? And maybe looking at some other products here, there's a kinetic sand play set. It was $29. Uh, these sell, from what I can see, this is actually pretty tricky to pick up. And I gauge the popularity by, of toys by just seeing the way they fly off the shelves. It's that simple. Came out Australia, $29. You can see written down the bottom there. But how about this? $28 for a complete Trackmaster 2 playset. You get Thomas included. So basically, that toy there and that toy there are the same value. Which one do you think presents the better value there? Better bang for buck? I know what I'd be saying. And I could bring another one here. It's a little bit more expensive. $34 for that playset there, and that is an awesome car racing playset. So $34 for that, you know, $28 for that, $29 for that. Um, mm, it's really got me thinking. Now, I'm only bringing this up because I go to the toy stores a lot, and I see people purchasing this playset here. I never see them book at the price. They look at the price and they purchase it. But I've seen many people go to the shelves, they look at this item, it's a very popular item. Obviously the children want it for Christmas and they just want it to have for fun. And many parents see $19 on that and they put it back on the shelf. Maybe if it was $12 or maybe $15, I think they would be buying a lot more of that. And as for that, I mean, I bought that and I was cringing. It'd want to be good, I tell you. Um, but it's one of those things, how much do you pay for a bit of sand? How much do you pay for a bit of plastic? And I'm sure my audience will have the final say. What's happened over there? <laughs> it's a massive train wreck. And we haven't even started the video. Oh my goodness me. Are you going to uh, tidy up that mess there? Get those trains back on track? 
You know, did Google Wise Connect sound so expensive and it brought up a fair bit of interesting information? There are some people saying, well, it's basically some very cheap components slapped together and completely overpriced. Other people are saying, well, no, it's a little bit more complex than that. It's basically silly putty mixed with sand. And have we ever seen cheap silly putty? Well, no. On some mother forums and social media sites, there are people saying they'd made their own for basically a few cents. But one thing I notice is the Kinetic Sand website in Australia, which is distributing this stuff, says they cannot keep up with orders that it is selling really fast. And yes, I'd actually agree with that because I've literally seen it walk off the shelves at Kmart. But I still say, if it was that little bit cheaper, they'd be selling a whole lot more. But maybe what I need to see is how much would Costco in Australia sell Kinetic Sand for? Maybe that's what this video was possibly trying to say. Anyway, thanks for watching, and bye for now.